In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a number flipping effect in React.js. Using this library called React Animated Number, you'll be able to create a number flipping effect with ease. As you can see in this application that I made, which displays the price of cryptocurrencies. It changes color every couple of seconds, and based on the value of the number, if it goes up, it uses a green background, and if it goes down, it uses a red background. So, I hope you are ready to create this. Let's create the app using your Create React app. If you're not familiar with Create React app, you can watch my other video to get started. Here, I have a pre-made application, the bare bone of Create React app. And I have installed the React Animated Number library via yarn add React Animated Number. Let's start it. Let's get started. This is the bare bone React project. We're going to remove things that we don't need. And we're going to display a number price here. So we want this number to always change a couple of seconds. And using the React animated number component, it should display in this fancy manner like this app. To get started, we need a state. So let's make the constructor. Let's do this dot states equals. Let's call this price and it starts out as the value zero. And we can check that it's working dot doing this dot state dot price. And this number here should become zero. We want this number to change every couple of seconds. So to do that, we need a couple of things. First, we need the fetch price function. All this function does is sets the number or the value of the price. So you could have an Ajax in here if you want, but for me, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna fake it and just set the number directly. So let's do a set state and then we set the price to be a random value between 1 and 100. How's that? Now, I don't have the thing, the function on top of my head. Let's Google it. JavaScript random number between. This will give us a stack overflow and like any good programmers, we're going to copy the first answer and put it in our code. Now this should generate a number between 1 and 100. And we want to run this thing every couple of two seconds. So in components, did mount function, we're going to do a set interval. And within the function, we're just going to call this stuff fetch price. And we're going to run this every two seconds. So if we go back to our app, I refresh it, it should change the value every two seconds. Great. Now it's time to put the React Animated Number component into our application. Using this tutorial, we're just going to copy the component. And then we're going to copy the usage. So instead of this state that price, we're going to replace it with the React animated component, animated number component. So in here, one thing you need to, re I mean, a couple of things you need to replace. One is the value parameter. This is going to be our state. I'm not going to change the font size. So the style component will change the CSS property of the of the number as it animates. I'm not going to do anything else. And here, we don't have the pretty bytes function from the tutorial example. We're just going to return the value. So if you look at our app now, as you can see, it's changing the value every couple of seconds, and the background is yellow. Let me make this a bit bigger so you can see better. Let me change the font size to 90 pixels. There you go. So now, as you can see, this is 
doing the decimal pluses and we since we want to display price we want something to the setting second significant digit so let's change this to I have a handy little function called round let's define this round function it basically takes a value and then round it up to two decimal places you can call the round function here in this format value callback so you do this dot round and then pass in the number so if I press save now you should see that the number are now in two decimal places let's add a dollar sign in front of this component so it makes it look even better Great. Now this yellow color is, bother is bothering me and I want a number to give a green background when the number goes up and give a red background when the number goes down. So how do we do that? This background color property here, we need to make it dynamic. So let's define a value called BG color. And this number will default to the green color. So let BG color equals a green color. Now I'm gonna cheat a little and seeing as how I have the hexadecimal value ready. I'm gonna do this. Now it always be green no matter what. Sorry red. It'll be red no matter what. Now we want to change the color to green if the previous value is smaller than the current value. That means the price went up. To do this we need a couple of things. We need to define a state called previous price Let's set it to zero from the start. And then in the fetch price, price function, we need to set the previous price to whatever the current price is. And then it will set the current price to whatever the next value is, which is randomly from 1 to 100. Now you have a previous price and current price, and you can write the logic easily. So if this dot previous price if the previous price is less than sorry this dot states the previous price now we, we want it to be green right if the previous price is less than this dot states dot price then the background should be green because the new price is greater than the previous price so we reset the bg color variable to equal to a green color. So let's press save on this. And as you can see, it's green when it went up. And then if it goes down, it's red. Now here's 0.08 second. It's a bit too short. Let me change it to one second. And you can see that the price will change, will animate for one second before it settles down to the value. So as you can see, this is very simple, and I hope you can incorporate this into your projects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time.